Daily family walks. Meow. <laughs> Ross. That was weak, Ross. That was weak. Okay. Raiden. Raiden. <laughs> What's wrong with him, bro? <laughs> you okay, Rachel? I'm hot. You're hot? Yeah. Okay. Y'all, I don't know how I got these kids who always get nosebleeds. I've never once had a nosebleed in my life. I don't understand. He gets them. He gets them. He doesn't. Did you used to get them? Yeah. I've not ever. Oh, I never understood yeah. kids. But he's a big nose bleeder. Like, he gets them all the time. Well, he used to way more. Remember us? When I actually used to be concerned? You don't really get them so much now, huh? Hey. Babe, where's your drink? Right over here. Right I wanted here. to cheers you. I think it was because of race because... Did he hit you in the head or nose? He got really excited and hit me like right here. Uh-oh. You hit brother? No. It's okay. You didn't mean to. That looks good. Yeah, they about to close, so this girl was ordering. She's like, can I have a pina colada double shot? And I was like, uh, two of, she was like, two of them? I was like, make it three. I'll get the same thing. And then I'm like, girl, you got me drinking a double shot. And she's like, they're about to close, so you're going to really enjoy it. <laughs> I'm you definitely going to have you drink yeah. a good amount I'm of it. I'm ready for it. Looking good. Dead run. Yeah, dead. <laughs> I got this all cinematic. I gotta fix it. I don't know how the quality of this vlog is gonna be, y'all, because. No, I know, but then it like filters you out. It can't be on both of us. Like some movies do. They do. It's called the depth of field. Interesting topic. Well. This is literally my true happiness. Sitting poolside, sipping pina coladas, and watching our children just have the time of our life. Uh, the time of their life. Yeah, they've got this cup from like a restaurant we went to and he... I thought it was plastic at first because it's got a, a nice shine sheen to it. But then when you get into it, you realize it is wood. It's a coconut, they just buffed it. So it's amazing to me, I love it. He feels so cool because he has a cup of coconut, a real life coconut. So he's drinking some whiskey out of a coconut and I'm sipping on a pina colada. We got I need rum. We got rib in here. And we actually packed him a bottle today um, because I'm gonna enjoy myself. A nice drinky drink with the hug. You change it, please? Gross. <laughs> That's so I didn't bring sunglasses and this is my worst nightmare just staring directly into the sun. Babe is a, a true um, vampire, so like sun in his blue eyes, which I heard anyways, blue eyes are very sensitive to sun. You want my hat, baby? Mm -hmm. Am I? What? What's that? Honest. Might help a bit. Ooh, daddy, you look nice. Mm -hmm. I like that. Who do you look like? Speed Aqua Man? I think he's saying D Dot Man. No. D Dot Man. Huh? D Dot Man. D Dot Man. Yeah. Totally. Look. 
boy's handsome. Look at him. He's got that water on his eyelashes. He's very handsome. Not no down. underbite. <laughs> there you go. Are you swimming? Yeah. Are you swimming in the grass? Yeah. 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 In the hot pool. I know she's swimming in the hot pool. Okay. So okay. Don't get me the inflatable. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry, y'all. My my kids are cute. I love my kids, but my man, my man, my man. Yeah, I'm cute. Yes, I just feel so blessed and highly favored. <laughs> I'm not drinking this drink. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> no, for real though. Almost make me want to have more kids, but. Don't do it, girl. It's not worth it. I'm not do going to do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. Are you trying to have a mind like your mom or something? To be, to be honest, my mom has six kids. That is just like a beautiful number. Of yeah. kids? You for kids? seven. You, you always like six in your number. No, no. Six is literally the devil's number. That's but why like, y'all turned out like the devil. True. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like... Seven? I don't know. As far as having kids, I want to, uh, I feel like six. It's a good number. But I don't know, you guys. It's so hard out here for a pimp. It really is very ghetto in these parenting streets. It really is. Like, it's tough. It would be nice to just be adults. I'll tell you a dirty secret. Sometimes when we do get to, you know, let the kids go to their grandparents and stuff, me and Rose have a hell of a time. Oh, my goodness. Our relationship is real close. Oh my goodness. The only problem is now we have two kids. Now we have two at home. Anyway, yeah, but. we didn't used to. So it used to be every summer my kids go to their biological family's house. And so we just enjoy one another's company. Right, they will stress you out. Our boys are extra extra. Any parent knows though. Like kids are stressful. Our boys are extra extra and they feed off each other. So if you mm -hmm. tell them to do something and one of them's not listening, then the other one takes that energy. It's like, okay, we don't have to listen. You know, and stuff like that. So it's like now that we have Race and River, we Because we tried to uh, go to the pool here, but they were all being bad. And we were supposed to punish a couple of them for Yeah, we told them, like, you're but not going to... we gonna... still want them to go to the pool, and we also want to do this for ourselves. So yeah. we need them to get the energy out, and we need to chill. So we end up never giving them the punishment that they deserve. And right, they deserve. so they end up being spoiled because we just leave them... <laughs> oh, no, I am. <laughs> No, but it's the truth. So, like, now we have Race and River. And so, like, they are both they belong to both of us in one household, biologically. And so we don't have nowhere to... But actually, his mother really will take them. But right now, Grandma is going through some things with Grandpa. So we're actually going to give Grandpa a call. We check on him every single day. So... Peace and happiness, seeing the boys enjoying themselves so thoroughly. What are you doing? What are you doing? You make a joke so online. I love you. Love you. Suck, <laughs> suck, motorbike. Yeah, that. <laughs> suck off. All right, y'all. So I have to hop on here because this is this is important. Me and Hubs are sitting here reading you guys' comments. And while, of course, we don't respond to every comment, we read them. We really do. And we appreciate them, whether um, your comments are in agreement to us or not. Anyways, long story short, 
someone was rep responding to us and saying like we need to stop cussing and they said their comment was what are you going to do when the teacher calls and says uh that your kids let the swear words fly and my response was i'm gonna tell them not to cuss especially in front of teachers and so we were talking my husband and i we were talking about how we believe that like when you're parents that have like a super super tight hold super strict on their parents on their on their kids the kid usually goes and rebels and then babe said a quote that just was like uh forbidden fruit tastes much sweeter i was always about you know my parents would tell me not to do so much and they held me back and i did so much i've literally done about everything myself but yeah forbidden fruit tastes much sweeter and that is so good because Brett's parents, Brett's mom was super Christian. Like, not saying she did anything wrong because she raised Brett tremendously. He's a tremendous man. I feel like mainly because he chooses to be. But before I, I got I with him. Ten, twelve years. Yeah, I feel like I got with him at a great time. And it was just like God's divine timing. Because if I would have got with him at any other point in time, he probably would not have been the same man for me. Not even probably. I'm I'm positive he would not. I don't know. Cause, no, it's yeah. You even had a rough patch with me at the start. Yeah. It's so it's just like um, forbidden fruit tastes taste much sweeter. Uh, uh, that is so good. But yeah, so we don't believe in like we control our kids. Like we believe in giving them a certain amount of freedom and like teaching them and telling them why they should not do certain things. But some people think that they could just completely control kids and it's not the case that all kids are gonna do what they wanna do at the end of the day. Um, you just try to steer them in the right direction. So, and, and I, I don't believe in the other spectrum of that either where you're completely your uh, kid's friend. Like, no, no, not at all, you know, but. A healthy balance of that where our kids feel comfortable to come and ask us questions and talk to us about literally anything um, so I just feel like our way of parenting is good it works for our kids yeah, is really anybody does. fully right I mean we watch shows where they have like 10 different parenting styles and stuff is anybody fully right you know maybe there's just different styles and for yeah. sure I think we're doing it fine yeah. You just have to do really what works for you and your particular family. There's no like flat line. Yeah. There's no flat. There's no flat line way of doing it or flat line way of parenting. But I told these kids to stay in my sight at this pool, and I don't see them. So let's go find them. Found them. No, I just. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I thought you were about to get in with me. No, this better angle. You don't want to get in with me? Nah. I ain't feeling full body wet now. Really? Are you, are you about to get in? Yeah, I just pay for an initial dip, don't you? Yeah, it's a tough one. Yeah. There's like the little body down here is That's wet. That's the easy. The rest is the dry. The shoulders. It's just like getting the rest wet is like such a shock. Babe, babe, I knew you was going to try it. It's the arms. The arms are the worst. Stop. Ah. Babe, I knew you were going to try it. Ready? Ready. Ready. Where they are, you stinker. Babe, I'm gonna push you with me. Pinky promise, I won't push you. Pinky promise. Come on, I won't push you. Pinky promise. I won't push you. Get away! Get away! Yeah, they didn't 
Yeah. You're in the screen now. Needs his jacket. Well, this way if you can. You got it. You got it. No, stop open it. Now you're not. Michael, call him. Find you, Oz. Find you. No! You're out there. Yeah, you have to stay in the middle. You have to stay in the middle. You have to stay in the middle. Let's go. Our team's all up there. I really feel like I didn't open you to stand up. Let's go. 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 Yeah. Now this one's closed, baby. Get out. When I finally decided to get in and start enjoying myself, they're like, ah, we're close. Get out. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> we already showing how not tall he is. <laughs> Woo, baby. You gotta go, but you can't stay here. But you do gotta go. Um, and you ain't gotta go home, but you gotta get back. Out, out, out. What are we yeah. doing? Are we bouncing around or are we heading home? What do you want to do? Me? Go we eat. should probably start cooking. Right? Eat and sleep, yeah, it's yeah, late. We should start cooking dinner and you yeah. have to go to work really Yeah. Early. Feel a little responsible. Oh, it just feels so good. Come on, get your hair wet, girl. Get your hair wet. Come on, get your Come hair on, wet. Babe, watch. Push your tits up too. <laughs> there you go. You're stealing my joke. Mom. Mom. Yes, baby. Come on, we gotta go. The security guard has been very patient with us. He said it's time to go. Come on, we are last now. Let's go. You don't wanna. Yeah. We don't wanna be noticed. Every week. I'm oh. sexy and I know it. Girl, look at that body. I work out. The background. This would be a great time for us to like take some Yeah, but well, we gotta go now. I gotta pee. Where's our voice? Raiden was supposed to be right here. Raiden! Raiden! Rob! Ray! Come on. Let's go. The New York Mets with 15 games left to play. <laughs> Billy, how's your hand? Thanks. <laughs> 